There's something wonderfully tactile about using the accelerometer to affect gravity in a game, because it feels incredibly realistic even though we're not using particularly good graphics. SpriteKit is of course doing most of the hard work of collision detection, and Core Motion takes away all the complexity of working with accelerometers. So again, it's our job to sew the components together to make something bigger than the sum of its parts. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, rewrite the load level method so it's made up of multiple smaller methods. This will make your code easier to read and easier to maintain, or at least it should do if you do a good job. Second, when the player finally makes it to the finish marker, nothing happens. What should happen? Well, that's down to you now. You could easily design several new levels and have them progress through. And third, add a new block type, such as a teleport that moves a player from one teleport point to the other. Add a new letter type in load level, add another collision type to our enum, then see what you can do.